Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. So since last week we got the news that DICE is actually currently working on another Battle Royale for the Battlefield series coming out with the next game, hopefully 2025. I thought why not make a video with a small wish list of the things I would like to see in this Battle Royale so that maybe even I, somebody that isn't really into Battle Royales or might actually play the game actively. As for the background gameplay this time around, um, you're gonna see some Call of Duty footage. This is back from when they had their first free weekend, I think. It was in January or something so it's a bit older but I recorded this was like a 60 to 6 or something and yeah I thought why not show it to you so you see something different than Battlefield all the time but yeah let's start with the map and player size for the Battle Royale. Usually I would now say I would like to see at least like 150 players but honestly with how bad the hit rack is in Battlefield 2042 we only get 45 hertz servers and this all happened with a player count of 128. I honestly have to say I rather have to make the Battle Royale smaller like it is in Apex where they only have 60 players per match instead of going like really big with 150 or 128 even. Long as we get proper hit track and we get proper at least like 64 hertz servers of course better would be 128 but this is too big of an ask probably even though EA is like a multi-billion dollar company so yeah as long as they make sure we have proper hit rack and we have at least 60 hertz servers i'm fine with even a lower number of players but of course it would be quite cool to have like old warzone times player counts where we have like 150 and you have a ton of action because let's be real here more players mean more action more adrenaline it's way better also for like content creators because they can get higher kill games more interesting to watch this gets more players into the game so everybody would profit from it but yeah yeah, that's for the players as for the maps i hope we don't get windows 7 wallpapers again where there's basically nothing on it and since the guy that you know worked on warzone is now working on the battle royale i think we can expect a map somewhat of like warzone head i hopefully they take the dance as their baseline but i hope they make a slight change and this is to not make any skyscrapers i think the worst part about warzone to this day is like when you have a building that has like eight nine ten floors where on every floor there are rooms you can go in and somebody could camp in there and also since i want them to add destruction i really don't think we get a lot of destruction if they add like big skyscrapers and stuff so i think they should keep it to like normal level houses with like max of like three stories so you can still red for the people that like to play more passively but you can also have houses that can be destroyed since let's be real here a battle royale in the battlefield universe without the destruction is literally just a warzone copy and then why would people switch from warzone to battlefield now as for time to kill and how the game should you know feel killing people getting on streaks and stuff i hope they find a ttk timing between warzone and apex legends I think especially for Battlefield taking like the Call of Duty TTK I think it's like on Call of Duty Warzone currently I think it's like 10 to 12 bullets around for the gun needs and I think it's like 500 to 600 milliseconds to kill somebody even if you consider you have like 300 HP in Warzone since you have 150 health and 150 from armor but I would like to have somewhere around 800 should be like the fastest TTK for Battlefield I think this would put perfectly it's not as fast as Call of Duty so you can also express your skill a bit more since tracking people for like 800 milliseconds milliseconds at hitting every shot you really need to be good at the game and i also think that's a lot faster than apex i think the fastest in apex you can kill us with like the r99 i think it's like 1.1 second or 1.2 seconds if you hit all your shots and i think that's a bit too long for a battlefield so i think if they set it around 700 800 milliseconds for the vast majority of the guns i think that's totally fine so and now since we are already talking about apex and call of duty biggest difference between these two is that one game has loadouts and one game doesn't have loadouts so honestly I'm quite split on this topic. On the one hand, for me, a battle royale is you need to use the guns you find with the attachments you find. But on the other hand, I can also understand why they made loadouts in Call of Duty because loadouts were literally the only reason people bought the base game so they can level up their guns or the meta guns and then use them in like Warzone. So I think Battlefield will also go the wrong. So this was personal customization. Now let's go over to what is on the maps. So since we're playing a Battlefield, I think they are probably also thinking about adding tanks 
tanks and helicopters like they did back in Firestorm. And honestly, you have to say, even though the Battle Royale sells a Battlefield Battle Royale, I think they shouldn't add any tanks or attack helicopters. I think especially in a Battle Royale where you have different modes, I think we'll probably get solos, duos, trios and quads. I think it's really hard as a Battle Royale player to get a grip on the, those things and deal with those things. Like if you play a Battle Royale, you drop somewhere, you got your loadout, let's say you play basic M4, with a silencer for long range, you have a sniper rifle, then you have a throwing knife so you can finish down people and you get smoke grenades to, you know, cover the ground and stuff. And now somebody is sitting in a tank. Yeah, what are you going to do? Nothing. The only chance to kill a tank as a single person is usually C5. And let's say you didn't find any C5. Yeah, now you're lost. You also can't really hide away from the tank because they had hopefully added destruction. So if you are in a house, the tank just bombs the house. And the same goes for like a helicopter. Yes, a good shooter can shoot out the helicopter pilot, even with an M4. But that's easier said than done. And if you play against a really good pilot, yeah, good luck shooting him out. He will beam you so fast. And I think adding vehicles that can do damage to the player are not fun. They might be fun for the person driving it, but not for the people running around, playing infantry or whatever on the back. Battle Royale map, but I think they should restrict vehicles completely to the multiplayer and just give us like a transport helicopter where you can go from one place to another, give us quads, give us bikes, you know, like, like they have in Warzone, literally. But yeah, that's it for the vehicle stuff. And lastly, I also want to talk about streaks, since in Call of Duty, you can get like a UAV, an airstrike, a murder strike and stuff. And I also think they should use those things. I think in Battlefield 5 Firestorm, there was actually a kill streak where you could like throw a flare and this would call in an airstrike or something and i think this fits really well in a battlefield since we have a destructible environment so if somebody has like a power position in a house on a hill for example you can just airstrike the house flatten the house and now you have a more equal fighting ground and i also want to see a kill streak like a uav simply put it speeds up the game and you can actually find people but in return i also hope they don't add like a ghost perk so that people can just hide away from the uav since i think speeding up a battle royale with uavs is it's always better than to just say oh no if they want to camp give them all the tools so nobody knows that they are because i think that's just unfun but that's just my personal opinion but yeah i think those are like the baselines i want i play account if they can make it with the hit registration and a normal 64 hertz server if not reduce the player size make a proper map that isn't just a windows wallpaper where there's nothing on it also don't do any like crazy 10 story buildings or something just keep it to battlefield level where we can destroy most of the buildings, add destruction, make a slightly higher TTK than what we had in Warzone, give us proper loadouts with proper weapon customization and with perks. Don't add any tanks or attack helicopters into the game because this would just be unbalanced and really hard to deal with, especially in the solo modus. And give us like the normal streaks and yeah, also like buy stations like they have in Call of Duty. I mean, somewhere you need to buy your loadout. Oh, oh yeah, and lastly, gas masks. I think especially, you know, they make sense but i would actually like to see they get used in the game very easy you pick up a gas mask the gas mask is automatically equipped there's no animation there's no field of view change or you have like this png overlay it's just you pick up the gas mask is automatically equipped and automatically blocks like the gas damage not like it is currently in call of duty i mean they had so many iterations where in the first war zone once you touch the gas you would automatically have an animation where you equip the gas mask this would mean sometimes people would lose the fight fights this was actually very funny because sometimes cheaters when they like aimbotted somebody while they were aiming at somebody suddenly the gas came and, and they got stuck in the animation and could only hip fire so they didn't hit anything and then they lost very funny and now in warzone it's like this you pick up the gas mask and you have to go into your inventory and equip and unequip it all the time when you want to use it or when you don't want to use it and neither of those systems are really fun for a battle royale so i think they should just make it that you pick it up it's automatically equipped and wears down the longer you stay in the gas until it's destroyed and you take normal damage but yeah this is basically my wish list for the battle royale of course i would like to know what other things you would like to see in the battle royale so you give it a chance and try it out let me know down in the comments below as always if you enjoyed the video consider leaving a like and subscribing for future battlefield content thank you so much for watching until the end and i will see you in the next one